Hello, hello. Smokings. Hey, Miss Inga Gibbs. Welcome. Thanks for coming in, Miss Amy. I think you're new. Welcome in Jesus' name. Gracefully Purpose. Hey, darling. Hey, Daryl. Hey, Prophetess Pat, Elder Smith, Miss Charlie. Welcome. Thank you guys for coming in. Yes, go ahead and invite your followers for me. Good evening. Blessings to you. Hey, Elder Smith. Hey, Daryl Seven. I think you've been before, but I think it's been a while. Hey, man of God, we'll bless you. Hey, Miss Carol. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Blessings. Hello, hello. Hey, Prophetess Pat, how are you, woman of God? Bless you. Leisha T91, welcome. Thank you for coming in. Blessings to you. Thank you guys for coming in so quickly. Thank you for the hearts. Living life, who may? Okay, I love that. Hello, hello. Hey, beautiful. Uh, well, thank you so much. You're, you're so kind. Hey, Miss Ann, 1263. Welcome to all of my first timers. I love your tag, living life. Who mad? I'm telling you, that's awesome. Hey, Jean Tara. Hello, hello, welcome. Thank you guys for coming in. I hope you've had a wonderful Sunday. It's been um, uh, so smirkle, I guess. I changed my name from I Must Endure. Okay, all right, awesome. Good evening, good evening to you. Happy Sunday. Welcome. I hope you guys have had an awesome Sunday. You know, for me, Sundays are always awesome. I get to go to church, and that's one of the highlights of my of my week. Um, you weren't missing me? <laughs> no, no. I didn't get a chance to come on yesterday, and so it's, kind of, it's rainy here, but I was like, you know what? Today, I have to go and get on scope. Angel... Zachary, hello, good evening to you. Welcome, thank you for coming in. Come through with the sign. <laughs> y'all, so <laughs> see how y'all act. You see how y'all act on Periscope. This is why, right? <laughs> I, you know, I just, I, I just decided to work this hair thing. Hello, man of God, how are you? Glory to God, bless you. Thank you so much for coming in. <laughs> you and <laughs> sorry, y'all know. See. Recovery Wendy, good evening to you. Welcome. Thank you for coming in. If you haven't invited your followers, would you do that for me? And thank you so much for those hearts already. It's a wonderful blessing. I love that. It means that uh, you love me and I love you right back. And uh, you're already excited as I am about what God is doing. And so I am always, again, super excited. God is just so wonderful. He is so faithful. Hey, purpose driven. And uh, God is... is um, one of the things that I love about God, I could I could just do a scope. Truly, Natasha, blessing, blessings to you. Bless you, woman of God. I could do a, literally just do a scope on the things that I love about God, the attributes of God. Bless you. And because he's so wonderful. And when you and I could elaborate on each thing, you know, to to really give you the truth about how God is for me and what he is to me. I love God because one, he loves us first and foremost. We love him because he we love him because he loved us first. I love that. You know, it takes um, in, in our family. Sometimes it happens that way. We love our parents because they love on us or we love, you know, children love, you know, because they were loved first. And God is like that. He loves first. And it really takes a special kind of heart. I believe to love first because a lot of people like first they like there's something that they like and they like and it's a very strong liking but when it comes to the things of God it's not just a like it's a it's a love he loved us so we love him because he loved us first and so I love God for that that he loves us and he loves us best nobody can love like God nobody can make you feel like God nobody can do what he does and and so I was saying this hey I love yams bless you when you learn to love God first then it's easy to love people I think one of the the greatest attributes for me when it comes to loving is that I learned to love God first. I struggled with loving God because I did not believe in the love of God for me. But once I started believing that my faith level rose up and came to another place and yeah, can't nobody do you like he can. I know that's right. Hey, Royal and positive. Bless you. Blessings to you, Miss Carol. Hello. Hello. Hey, Miss Zelda. How are you? Good to see you. So when I started loving God on purpose, deliberately, I made it. Hey, darling, I made it my my I chose. It's by choice that we love. I think sometimes people are looking for the conditions of love, but you love by choice. So she said foot stomping. 
<laughs> you guys are something. I mean, you do. You love on purpose and you love by choice. I choose to love. We, when we don't love, it's because I choose not to. It's not because, oh, and, and so many times we've been programmed to believe. Wow, MJ, what? Girl, you got to email me that one. Inbox me something. I need to hear the whole story on that. So God be the glory. Hallelujah. So, I mean, that's for me, it's like that. I, I realized that, uh, yeah, girl, inbox me, email me, give me that whole testimony because that's awesome. To God be the glory. We rejoice with you. Amen. I'm next. I'm just saying I'm next. Okay. So, you know, uh, 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 bless you, J. Jim. How are you? Welcome. A lot of times we miss it um, because we're looking for the condition. Okay, I'll love you if. Tater your life. Hey, love. Bless you. Hey, Shekana. I'm next too. Okay, I agree. Uh, Gracefully Purpose, you and I are next. Amen. So, yeah, amen. Okay. See, we got agreement going right here. I, I'm telling you, but, you know, to, okay, worry for God say he, he next too. Okay. We are all next in Jesus name. Okay. <laughs> um, but it's amazing to me how people we've been programmed to look for negative things. And we say, well, I don't, the, I don't, you know, I stopped loving them because of this, or I don't love them because of that. No, no, no. You love on purpose and you love because you choose to. When you stop loving, it's somewhere you made a choice in your heart and your mind. I don't want to love you anymore. Wow. My God. I mean, it, it is. And so, you know, part of what causes us to be lifted is the love of God. You know, uh, we sing that song, love lifted me. Remember that song? When nothing else would help, love lifted me. Hey, Adesio, you're welcome. So love lifts. Love brings you to a place that you feel, um, again, refreshed, revived, rejuvenated, uh, restored, re-energized. You know, when people are in love, they have a different kind of, you know, a different kind of walk. There's this particular uh, cartoon that comes on, or it used to come on. I don't know if it still does now, because I, I just, I'm not big on TV. One, oh, they love. Hey, love, bless you. Hey, thank you, Miss Carol. Blessings. I love you for that. But um, the, the, there was a character and the love of his life, I don't know what happened because they never really give you the background. But anyway, the um, I'm trying to think of the name of the show because some of you may have heard of it. But anyway, on the cartoon, there's a character and he used to walk. It energizes. Yes, he used to walk everywhere. Right. He never used to. He would walk everywhere. And after he met this particular uh, other character who was like him and they were in love. I don't know what happened to the, the female because this is the guy, but I don't know what happened to it. But long story short, from that day forward, he always vowed to skip. So they nicknamed him Skips on the cartoon. That's what he did. I mean, on, on the show, he's known as Skips. And they, they told the story once, but I don't remember the full details. But that's why he skips around. Yeah, when you're at your lowest. So he skips. He stopped walking because he skipped because of love. So love gave him not just a walk, but a skip, a stride. And we heard this before, you know. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it was very cute. I thought it was anyway. It's a cartoon. So I think about, you know, we have, uh, of course, Valentine's Day is coming up when I think it's Wednesday, I believe. I think so. Y'all help me if I'm wrong. But, um, one of the things that's important is that we remember that the love of God is what lifted us. And so what gives us the ability to love and lift others is the love of Christ. If we don't remember that, then we'll go back to being in a place of lowness and, and mundanity, uh, being mundane and, you know, just uh, existing. We're not here to just exist. We are here with an assignment and that assignment is to be a lifter. You know, God is the lifter of our head. I'm going to give you some scriptures, but we're going to talk about this just a little bit because I think it's very, very important when we hear the word lift. A lot of times we don't consider, hey, Chris, bless you. We don't consider, um, you know, that God lifted us. He, he brought us out of a place. The word lift is mentioned 104 times in the Bible. The word lifted is mentioned 158 times in the Bible. So, <clears throat> Let's look at some of these verses. I want to look at uh, some of these verses when it's talking about lifting. Um, and so I'm just going to kind of go through some scriptures. Hey, 
Dominique. Hey, love. How are you? Good evening to you. Welcome. Thank you guys for coming in. It's, invite your followers if you haven't. Keep pumping those hearts for me. That I love that. That means so much. I didn't realize that one day either, I think it was, it had to be last week or the week before we got to 13 million hearts and I didn't know. And so I wanted to do something on that, but I just totally missed it. So we'll do something. I'll, I'll get a, get something together just to celebrate because you, that means that you guys have celebrated me on this periscope and I love you for it. I thank you so much for it. It means so much to me. It encourages me so much. Sometimes when I go through and I check, uh, you know, just looking at periscope and I'll go to my profile and I see those hearts. Thank you so much, Jean Tara. Bless you. I'll see those hearts and I see the number has gone up and I've reached another million. I mean, it just means so much to me because it says that you support. It says that you are being encouraged. Amen. And, and it means a lot to me because as I'm encouraging you, I am also being encouraged by you. And so I believe God shows up on these scopes and he encourages us all. Amen. So I love God for that. So um, this is the book of Ruth. Um, and this is um, Ruth 1 and 9. And uh, this is when they were getting ready to depart. I love you guys too. Thank you so much. Um, this is when they were getting ready to depart. So now I'm just going to give you kind of a, a, a brief uh, of summary of what's going on here. So in this, in the book of Ruth, yeah, one and nine, um, what happened is um, um, Naomi's husband has died. Her two sons have also died and now she's left her and her daughters-in-law. And we know that one is Ruth and one is uh or Oprah or Orpha, um, Orpa, I think is how I'm saying it. Um, so Orpa and Ruth both uh, are given the blessing of Naomi, and she says to them basically what we see in Ruth one and nine. She said, "The Lord grant you, the Lord grant you that you may find rest, each of you." in the house of her husband. Then she kissed them and they lifted up their voice and wept. So she was saying to them that I release you. Amen. I release you. Hey, Taylor, bless you. Welcome. Hey, Alicia. I release you to, to be married again to other husbands to get, you know, husband because they were widows at this point to get husbands and to be blessed in the house of your husband, your next husband, the next marriage that God will give to you. May you be blessed to be married again. So she was releasing them into this blessing and they were weeping because, and think about that. How many mother-in-laws have that kind of heart that the son has died and left the you know the the girl and 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 so she's saying I still give you a blessing you know the father wasn't there to bless she's a prayer point okay <laughs> I love it, Jean Tar. She said, the father was not here to bless you because he's also gone. However, I'm blessing you. I'm blessing you. Bless you, uh Nick Van Dorn. Okay, I'm blessing you. Hey, Mono Jam, welcome, love. It's so good to see you. I feel like I haven't seen or talked to you in a minute. So bless you. Good to see you. So she was giving them the blessings. I'm blessing. I'm releasing you with a blessing to go and marry again, still flourish, still have children, still be nurtured. She was releasing them to this blessing. So there was a lifting in that. That was her love. Her heart, even though her heart was bitter concerning the issues of life, it wasn't to the degree that she was not uh, uh, willing to be a lifter to her daughters-in-law. She said to them, okay, it is what it is. Can I paraphrase that? Blessings to you, uh, C. Valentine, 1983. Bless you. It, she, she wasn't so bitter that she was speaking bitter and vile things to them and cursing them and saying, oh, well, I don't know what you're going to do now. My sons are dead. It wasn't like that. No, she was blessing them. Good evening, Miss Mary DK7. Bless you. She lifted them. She said to them, I bless you. I release you to go and marry again have children be fruitful all of that I release you that may you find peace or rest in the house of a husband not that you gotta you know my son died so oh well you know it, it was it was love I know she said to when she got over into her hometown she said don't call me Naomi call me Myra because she was bitter but she wasn't so bitter that she wouldn't that she was releasing bitterness to them and let me tell you how significant that was had she done that Ruth Ruth probably would have gone another way and not with Naomi, which means that Naomi would have not been restored by 
Boaz, the kinsman's redeemer, was Boaz. He, that's what he was taking. Of course, a type of Christ, a type of uh, uh, re reconciliation, reconciling her back to the blessing of enjoying being a mother, um, having uh, grandchildren, because that was the thing, right? And so uh, Ruth went with her. And of course, you know the story, but that was a lifting. Look at another lifting of love when... Um, when uh, Boaz saw Ruth in the field, the Bible says that he told them to leave extra, right? They were because she was gleaning, right? Which means she was just picking up what was dropped. And he told them purposely leave extra, purposely drop more for her for her to have. And, it, you know, without really knowing her story or knowing who she was. So he he lifted her in a in a way, even without knowing who she was, because sometimes, again, we look for those conditions of love. You know, I have to know all about you first and then I'll decide if I want to love you or not. No, you choose to love it. When even when um, you know a man sees a woman and he's attracted to her or she's attracted to him, that's an attraction, but that doesn't make it love. Love is choice. You choose to love a person. So he said, "Okay, leave extra for her." Um, I don't know, you know, what all is going on with her. What all you know is happening in her life. I don't know her full story, but there's something about her. <clears throat> Excuse me. So he was lifting her by leaving the extra. He caused her to be lifted. So love lifted in that. Way. So it's not just based on uh, uh, sexuality and, and it's not just based on um, it's not just based on an attraction, but there was love there. There was something that made him, you know, because think about it. He could have thrown he could have thrown her out because said, get off my field. Why are you here? You know, and Naomi, because it was her kinfolk. Amen. That that was it was it, he was related to Naomi, not Ruth. He didn't necessarily know who she was. Right. So. He could have easily said, why are you in my field? You know, go somewhere else. But he didn't. He didn't do that. So there was a lifting there. So love absolutely lifts. I love that. Uh, love lifts. That I mean, God just is so amazing because whenever the joy of the Lord gives us strength, strength lifts you. When you don't have strength, when you're weakened, when you're down, you know, you're, you're oppressed or suppressed, whatever. Love can lift you. That gives you that strength, the joy of the Lord. Why does God give us his joy? Because he loves us. And because he loves us, he releases his joy. His joy gives us strength. Thank you, Adesio. Blessings to you. He loves us, so he gives us strength through his loving us. And because he loves us, and, and his love strengthens us, or his, he gives us his joy. His joy strengthens us. So I have strength to keep going. I may, and you know, it may not be working the way I want it to work. It's not looking how I would like for it to look. But God, to God be all the glory because I'm being lifted. Thank you so much, NJ. I'm being lifted out of this low place. The joy of the Lord strengthens me. It lifts me. It causes me to have hope. It causes me to have joy. It causes me to have peace. It causes me not to be downtrodden. David said, why have I downtrodden, oh my my soul, but you lift, you come out of that place. He began to praise. Why do we praise God? I wasn't going here this quick, but blessed be the name of Jesus. God bless you. Amen. Why do we praise God? We love him. So we release a praise to him and that praise causes, it said, uh, that praise causes us to be lifted. It causes the presence of God to come. It's stronger. It's a lifting. There was this song, um, there was this song that, um, and I'm trying to think of, I don't know, but let me tell you the story behind the song. So there's this song, this guy, and I, I wish I knew his name. I, I wasn't going to tell the story. I'll find it, the name, but there was this guy and he was getting ready to fly out to minister and he was running late and he was very big on being on time and not being late, especially when it came to flying. And so he was uh, going to catch the flight and he was late and he was very upset. Not, not I lift your name. I'll, I'll give it to you in a minute. And so uh, he got there and he missed the flight. So he's very upset. And he's going off, you know, on all the people and saying, you know, about li missing the flight. And so that particular flight, it ended up crashing. It ended up crashing. And so when that plane ended up crashing, he started singing this song to the Lord. Um, and I, I, got, I, I can't remember the name, but anyway, I'll, re I'll find it. I'll find it. And uh, I'll tell you guys maybe by the next time or something. Just help me remember. But I'll find it. But he said this song, he started singing this song. Um, he said, where would I be? Only you know. 
I'm glad you see through eyes of love a hopeless case, an empty place, if not for grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I would have been a hopeless case, an empty place. If not for grace. And he started singing that. And he was just so overwhelmed. Because he knew that it was God that caused him to be late that particular day. And there are multiple stories like that. <laughs> wow. See, it's Margaret Face that sing more. Y'all stop. Yeah, it protects. Come on. It protects. That's the whole point. And so... Uh, the men, a uh, pastor Tuesday was telling us a story about the man with the twin at the twin who worked at Twin Towers. How he was late that day. He had to drop off the kids and all of that. Uh, bless you, Twin One. And so he said, you know, when he got there, you know, the wife was calling and he was like, "Oh, I'm I'm somewhere else." He wasn't there, in other words. And so it was because the love of God. He had had his time with God. He was running late, and God was beckoning him to come spend time. And that time that he was spending that have made him appear to be late for work. Your brother was too for work. Wow. Look at God. Yeah. And so he said, but because he was late that particular day, he knew that God spared him. He didn't understand why God had spared him. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, why he was late until he found out what happened. Yeah. And so, yeah, and now he's a pastor. My God, see, I didn't even know that part. But Pastor Chusey was telling the story. And there's another song. I don't even know where it came from, but you guys probably heard this one. It says, there's a lifting of the hands. And there's a lifting of the heart. There's a lifting of the eyes beyond the hills from where my help comes from. Have you heard that one before? There's a lifting of the hands. I heard this song. My apostle, my former apostle used to sing it and I loved it. He could sing, y'all. He and his wife both. I was like, it's just not fair. Both of y'all can sing like that. But it says, it says, there's a lifting of the heart. There's a lifting of the eyes beyond the hills from where my help comes from. I love that song every time I heard it. And it's that it's just that simple. And then he says, my help comes from you. So I lift up my hands. My help comes from you. So I lift up my heart. My help comes from you. Beyond the hills from where my help comes from. I love that song. It's simple. It's sweet. And it's a, it's just a, it, sometimes I sing that song just because I just love the song. I love God for dropping it in the spirit of that. Yeah, it's, it's an awesome song. I don't know who sings it. I don't know the story behind it. But just that he talks about there's a lifting. I lift my hands really not because and he's saying. And the writer wrote beyond because I'm looking past what I can see to see my help. So my help, God helps me because he loves me. Um, the scripture says that uh, we can come boldly before the throne of grace and receive grace and mercy in time of need. Well, what do you need? Yeah, healing in the song, right? Yeah, what do you need? Yes, Israel and New Breed. Okay, there you go. I don't think they made it, but I think he did do a part of or that particular part in one of his albums. Yes, thank you, Shekana. So it's it's a lifting. Love lifts us. So I lift my hands because I love him. But he brings me to his throne or he gives me access to his throne when I need grace, when I need mercy because he loves me. So there's a lifting there. I lift my hands because I love him. My heart is lifted because he loves me. And I know that blessings love Kimmy. My, my, uh, my eyes are lifted up beyond the hills. We know that that's not a literal hill, but it's saying in other words, I'm looking up to the one who loves me most. I'm I'm looking up to the one who cares for me. I'm looking up for the one who carries me, who sees me through, who will do for me what I cannot do for myself. When things look impossible, I look for the lifter. My God, thank you, Jesus. I feel that when things look impossible, I look for the lifter. I look to the lifter. Amen. So I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus that you are being lifted even as you're listening to this uh, scope, as you're on this scope, bless you, as you are uh, putting up 
up the hearts. I decree and I declare. I prophesy that you are lifted right now. I decree and I declare and I prophesy in the name of Jesus that you are being lifted in your spirit, in your soul, in your mind, in your thoughts, in your imagination, in your reasoning, in your thinking. You're being lifted in your emotions. You're being lifted in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare a lifting by the spirit of the Lord, a lifting of the love of God to come upon you and cause you to be lifted, cause you to be encouraged, cause you to have hope, cause you to have uh, that that ability, that perseverance, that endurance, that tenacity to keep going and not give up, to see it through, to keep on praying until it happens for you. I decree and I declare and I prophesy in the name of Jesus that the lifter of your head is here now and he's come to lift you out of that low place, lift you out of that place of oppression and depression and suppression and digression. He's come to lift you out of that place of regression. He's come to lift you out of that place of stagnation. He's come to lift you out of that place of hopelessness in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you now that you're lifting our heads in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Keep putting the hearts up because it's letting me know that you're receiving this because I this is for you. This is for me. This is for us. Master Money, bless you. I love you. So we have a lifter and as he lifts, we are lifted. He lifts us because he loves us. He lifts us because he cares. He lifts us even if no one else wants to lift you. Know that you have a lifter. His name is Jehovah. His name is uh, Jesus Christ. His name of Nazareth. Amen. His name is Yeshua Hamashiach. His name is El Elohim. His name is Jehovah Shalom. His name is Jehovah Jireh, he is the lifter of your head. He's the one that loves unconditionally. There's no condition that God cannot love you through. There's no condition. There's no, there's no force, no power, no degree that God cannot lift you out of a low place and because of his love. Let's go to the scripture. I got to give you this one. We know this one. Paul said this one. And I want to read this one out for us. And I think I want to do it in the Amplified. He talks about this, how God lifts us, uh, how the love of God, the love of God, how nothing can separate us from the love of God. What can separate us from the love of God? Nothing. Nothing can separate us from his love. This is Romans. You know this. We know this scripture very well. Paul says, I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So he mentions a number of things. He mentions death. He mentions life, angels, principalities, powers, present things, things to come, height, death, or any other creature. That's a tenfold thing. Of all of those ten things, which ten represents law, ten in that ten and those ten things, not one of those things can separate us from the love of God. Bless you, Belinda Mar Mar Myrna. Belinda Myrna, blessings to you. Welcome in Jesus' name. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, it, it's nothing that can separate us of all of those things. All of those things at some point can relate back to a law, but, but they cannot separate us from the love of God. Nothing can separate us from his love. God's love is designed to lift us up. And I'm especially Jehovah Jireh, the name of the Father. Yes. Amen. Taylor Ann, bless you. Is it uh, the name of the Father or or just the name? Of, it's a name for God. God the Father, God the Son, who is Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit are all one. They're all one. They're a triune. So they're tr three in one. Three in one. So you don't get God separate from Christ. Christ is in uh, God the Son, who became the flesh for us. Amen. Is also in he, he in God. God became flesh. He put himself in a in a flesh suit. He put himself in the wound of a woman, and he was born of a woman so that he could redeem us because we also were born of a woman. So he followed the law, the law. Uh, so that he could redeem us because in order the law of redemption for the kinsman's redeemer, the law says that you must first be relative or related to. So the rel uh, this is Romans chapter eight. I'm sorry, love Romans chapter eight. Miss McClendon. Hey, love bless you. 
Romans chapter 8 and 38 and 39. Romans 8, 38 and 39. So in order for him to redeem us, I'm answering her question. Hey, love, in order for him to redeem us, he had to be related to us. So this is why when the scripture says we have a high priest that's able to relate or feel or identify with our feelings, our frustrations, our griefs. He born, our, he bore our griefs. Why? Because he had to be related to us. How? He had to be born of a woman. You're born of a woman. You can't get here no other way. Born of a woman, right? And so since we were born of women, in order for him to relate to us fully according to the law and redeem us, he had to come that way. So that's the law. So what can what can separate us? None of those 10 things. I'm persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature. Why? Because he followed the requirements. He fulfilled the law so that he could redeem you and I. And now he can love us unconditionally because he has identified with us according to the law. Born of a woman. So that's what God did. So the Holy Spirit now is God's own spirit that he releases and shares with us the part of him that he could give to us. Amen. Because he could not. And that because he's Holy Spirit released to us allows us to be able to relate back to God. This is why we pray in the spirit. Build up your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Be lifted up. That's what he's saying in Jude. How do you lift up your faith? Pray in the Holy Ghost. Lift up your faith by praying in the Holy Ghost. Be lifted up. Built up. Build means to lift. A building is erected or lifted. High, right? A high building is built, is erected, is lifted. So there's a lifting there. Mm. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you for the hearts. Keep pumping them for me. I appreciate you so much. I really do. So this is Psalm. This is Psalm. Uh, Psalms 20. Seven and six. One of my favorite psalms. Jean Tara, this is a, a prayer point coming out of this. I'm telling you, one of my favorite verses of scripture. I have so I just love the word. Let me just say that. I know y'all hear me say that all the time. I love the word. I love God. Twin, psalms 27 and 6. Thank you, purpose driven. And now shall mine head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle, hallelujah, sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Psalm 27 and 6 is packed, oh my God. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about. In other words, God's lifting is so that we cannot be overtaken by the enemy. My God bless the name of Jesus. I love it. God's lifting is so that we cannot be overtaken by the enemy, right? That's one of the things that he does. He lifts us up. He lifts us up. This is Psalm 30, Psalms 30 and 1. I love his word too. Psalm 30 and 1. It says, um, this is a dedication of David to the house of God. I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up. And has not made my foes to rejoice over me. I love it. I love it. I love it. Sometimes what I do, I'll just give you guys a secret to what I do sometimes. Okay, so if I feel low and I'm like, I, I just need to be lifted. I look for scriptures, word scriptures. I go for word scriptures. Uh, walk in grace. Hey, bless you. I look for words. So I, I need to be lifted, Lord. I feel kind of low. I need to be lifted. I put in the word lifted in my uh, concordance. I go for the word lifted. And I look for the verses of scripture. And I begin to speak them out. And as you're speaking them out. Yeah. As you're speaking. Hey, Vanessa, bless you. As you're speaking them out. Psalms 30 and 1. Yes. You start feeling the lifting. He says, I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and has not made my foes to rejoice over me. One is the word of God and God's word has power. Amen. And so when you begin to release the word blessings, kish. Ma, Kishma George, welcome. Thank you for coming in. Bless you. Beautiful picture. Um, yeah, you need a concordance. Love, Kimmy. You can put one on your phone. It's an app. And then you can also put it on your laptop. Hello, hello. So good to see you. Um, you can put it on your laptop or you can just get the actual concordance. I use the one on my phone more because, of course, my actual laptop. Hello, hello. 
um, on my actual um, uh, concordance is I got the the big thick one so yeah so you can look for it go to your uh, app store and look for concordance um, and uh, it'll help you but that's what I do so sometimes it's not just and it's a part of worship for me worship again you know it's not just singing a song it's one of the ways of worship but what about when I, I don't feel I don't sense the singing but there's something there that I want to do and so I just begin to release the word of God Lord I will extol you I will bless you I will magnify you because you have not allowed my enemies to, he says, you, you have not made my foes to rejoice. You didn't let my enemies rejoice over me. Lord, I lift, I, I bless your name. I lift your name high. I rejoice in you. I magnify you. I, I bless your name because you did not allow my enemies to rejoice over me. So let me just declare that, right? Let's declare that. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree, I declare, ha, glory to God. And I prophesy to the ones on this periscope right now that you shall lift up your heads well God will lift up your heads and your enemies will never rejoice over you in the name of Jesus Christ your enemies I decree and I declare your enemies will never rejoice over you in this year 2018 in this month of February in this on this day from today forward there will never be a lifting or, or, or a rejoicing of your enemies over you but your head shall be lifted up because they will not be able to rejoice over you. Everywhere the enemy has celebrated your demise, every personality, every character, power, spirit, I don't care, living, dead, in the heavens, in the earth, under the earth, in the sea, in the depths of the sea, wherever it is, wherever there's been a celebration of your demise, I decree and I declare, Psalms 30 and 1, that you shall rejoice and exalt the name of God because he is lifting your head and he will not allow your enemies from this day forward, from this moment, from this time forward to rejoice over you, but you shall have the victory in the name of Jesus. You shall be lifted out of that low place and your enemies will know that God is God in your life. They will know that you belong to God and that he is your refuge and your strong tower. They shall know that your defense is God. They shall know that you trust in the name of the Lord and that that name is, that is above every other name is trustworthy is strong and it gives you strength they will no longer rejoice over you in Jesus name I decree it I declare it in the name of Jesus financially your financial enemies come on Holy Spirit come on here Adagio your financial enemies will no longer rejoice over you for God is lifting your head in the name of Jesus come on Miss McClendon God is lifting your head your financial devils will no longer rejoice over you in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus, devils of sickness will no longer rejoice over you for God is lifting your head in the name of Jesus above the sickness. You will see the instructions. You will hear the instructions and you will know what to do for healing to take place in your life in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you right now. I prophesy that you will give us those kingdom ideas, those kingdom uh, uh, thoughts, those uh, inventions that will cause our heads to be lifted in the name of Jesus and our enemies will not rejoice over us every place you felt weak and downtrodden and overwhelmed I decree and I declare that your enemies will no longer rejoice over you for God is lifting your head and you can lift up his name in the name of Jesus God we thank you we bless you glory be unto your name most high and every relationship devil let's go on and tackle that one since we right here amen every relationship devil that has come and rejoice over you over the fact that you were dumped uh, betrayed uh, whatever whatever cheated on mistreated abused that relationship devil we take authority over you we bind you in the name of Jesus we decree and we declare that our enemies will no longer rejoice over us for, if, for all of those who liked it when you cried when you were weeping when you were hurt when you were backstabbed when you were cheated on when you were dumped and thrown to the side when you were uh, forgotten about
out in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare a lifting. Hallelujah. And they will no longer rejoice over you in the name of Jesus Christ. God, we thank you. Hallelujah. You are lifted in the name of Jesus. No longer will they rejoice over your demise in the name of Jesus. No longer will they rejoice because God is lifting you. He's lifting your head and he's lifting you. The psalm said, let me read it again. I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up. I decree and I declare God is lifting you up. You will be chosen first, not last. You will be noticed first, not last. You won't be second. You won't be third. You won't be on the back burner. You won't be hidden, but you will be seen first. They'll notice you first. They'll give you favor because of the favor of God that's lifting you up. They'll notice you first. They'll choose you first. They'll call you first. They'll want you first in the name of Jesus because God is lifting you up. In the name of Jesus. Listen, I'm telling you what, this, I feel this thing all in my, oh, in my spirit, I feel it. God is lifting you up. The head and not the tail. Come on, living life, who mad? God is lifting you up. I love, Psalm 30, Jean Tari, you got, I know you got some prayer points by now. <laughs> this, I'm, t I, this is why I love God. This is why I love God, because God is a lifter, not just of our head. We got one where he lift the head, but this one, he said, I'm lifting you. God is lifting me up and my enemies will not rejoice. He said, I'm that, that lifted me up and thou has made my enemies and has not made my enemies to rejoice. Some people like it when you, on Valentine's Day, you get people to rub it in. Oh, I got this. Oh, I got that. And if you're in the office, they get flowers and stuff. And because you're not in a relationship and because you're unmarried, they make you feel some kind of way. But I'm telling you what, in the name of Jesus, God is lifting you. J. Jim, God is lifting you. Alicia, God is lifting you. And I decree and I declare, come on, walk in grace, 81. God is lifting you in the name of Jesus. Purpose driven. God is lifting you gracefully. Purpose. God is lifting you. Mono Jim, God is lifting you. Love Kimmy, God is lifting you. I'm telling you, Christina, God is lifting you. He's lifting you, Nelly. He's lifting you, Vanessa. He's lifting you, I love yams. He's lifting you because you will no longer, the enemy will no longer rejoice over you. Ah, my God, thank you, Lord Jesus. I, that one hit me strong right there. Yeah, favor is better than flowers. I, I'm not saying we should, I, we're not jealous, okay? We're not. But some people try to rub it in your face. My God. Thank you, Jesus. I received that. Some folk try to make a big deal because they are there. You know, they have a spouse or they have a, they're in a relationship. And so they get flowers and, and they'll try to, you know, they try to, you know, kind of undercover, rub it in your face like, ha, 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 ha. Where is your God? Well, guess what? He lifted me. That's why you're going to see it. You're going to see, he don't let you see him lift me. My enemies will not rejoice over me. I decree and I declare again, your enemies will not rejoice over you. Hey, Miss Alicat, bless you, love. How are you? Good to have you. Yeah, no more of that. No more. God's love is lifting us in the name of Jesus. His love is lifting us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're not going to be the second, you know, just somebody, any, just any old. No, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Thank you, twin, to bless you. He will reward me publicly because I'm going to praise him in private. And I'm going to praise him openly, but I'm going to praise him in private. My God, I decree and I declare your enemies will not rejoice over you, Recovery Wendy. They will not, Miss Mary DK. They will not rejoice over you. Hallelujah. People go on Facebook because they know you looking to put stuff up so they can rub it in your face. That, oh, I'm this and I'm that. Guess what, baby? My lifting. My lifting has just come. My God, thank you, Jesus. My lifting has come. Y'all don't stop. Stop. Y'all pushing me. I'm telling you. Y'all pushing me. Y'all pushing me. My God, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My my God has lifted me. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. My God is lifted. You need to just lift your hands and declare that. Thank you, God, for lifting me. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord, for lifting me. Lifting me up. 
to first place. You know another word for lifting? It means to promote. Ah, so both see and say. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that in, uh, in this lifting there'll be promotion. Even if you've been promoted, I decree and I declare another promotion. Let it be a double promotion. We have gotten this month. Uh, Pastor Tuesday declared it as a month of double. So I'm gonna declare to you a double promotion, double lifting, not just one lift, but two. My God, salabo seki. My God, thank you, Jesus. A lift means also um, not only to promote. It means to elevate. I decree and I declare a, a double elevation in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, in the name of Jesus. Double promotion, double lifting, double choice. Wherever you were choosing one or two, may there be double for your choice. So you can choose. So where you used to be able to only choose one, you're going to have two choices. Where there was two, I decree and declare the multiplication in the name of Jesus, divine multiplying, divine multiplication. So you will have two times more to choose from. If you had two, you get four. If it was four, it'll jump to uh, six or eight. Amen. Two times more. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But you will no longer be without because God is lifting us. My God, thank you, Jesus. I don't know who needed this. I don't know who needed this besides me. I needed it. I receive it for myself. But I'm telling you, God is lifting us. He's a lifter. Huh? He's a lifter. My God, thank you, Jesus. He's a lifter. Hallelujah. Smooth jazz one, bless you. He's a lifter. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's a lifter. God will not leave you in a low place. Don't you dare let the devil make you think that just because you're not married yet ch chosen the messenger bless you that you are not lifted up in the name of Jesus oh glory to God blessed be his name my God I love you today thank you Lord hallelujah glory to God glory to God glory to God hallelujah glory to God glory to God well let's I want to give you this acronym really quickly for lift I want to give it to you real quick so we can uh, just keep declaring it amen Psalms 30 and 1 I will extol thee O Lord for you have lifted me up and you have not allowed my enemies to rejoice over me. Psalms 30 and 1. Let that, take that as a prayer point. Take that, start declaring it. Whenever you feel some kind of way this week, uh, bless you. Thank you so much. To God be all the glory. Whenever you start feeling it, the devil started trying to come at you with that, oh, you don't have Psalms 30 and 1. I will extol you, O Lord, because you have not. Psalms 30, Psalms 30 and verse 1. Yeah, she pacing around him talk. Psalms 30 and verse 1, Miss McClenny. Yeah. I will extol thee, O Lord, for you have not allowed my enemies to rejoice over me. You lifted me up, and you have not allowed my enemies to rejoice over me. My enemies will not rejoice over me. No. Mm -mm. In the name of Jesus, they will not rejoice over me. Hallelujah. Bless the name of God. So let's, I want to give you this really quickly. I want to give you this really quickly, this uh, acronym for LIFT, this acronym for LIFT. First thing, we already talked about it. Amen. Hallelujah. Go on and keep praising him. Yeah, you ready to see it now? Okay. I know that's right. LIFT, one of the things that we talked about, we talked about love, the love of God. So in the LIFT, there is love. Love lifts. We started out with that. Love lifts. So there's a, there's love to lift us. Hallelujah. So the L stands for love. Love lifts. The song said, love lifted me. Love lifts. If it were not for the love of God, we couldn't be lifted. But it's his love that lifts us out of those places that causes us to rejoice. Love lifts. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. Love lifts. Love lifts. If you haven't invited your followers, invite them for me. Because I believe this scope will help somebody from feeling some kind of way. Because some people are already getting worked up because of Valentine's Day and all of that. Love lifts us. Love lifts us. Amen. And we got the word of God that declares to us, God is lifting me up and not allowed my enemies to rejoice. So the enemy doesn't get to have his way in your feelings this week because you are not in a relationship. Amen. You, we love. The love of God lifts us. Hallelujah. The love of God lifts us. Amen. So if you haven't, invite your followers for me, if you will. Keep pumping those hearts. I appreciate that. The I, the I in lift the i in lift 
the I in lift. Thank you so much, Purpose Driven. Bless you, Ms. Mary D. Thank you so much for sharing on Twitter. The I in lift. The I there is for... I'm sorry, somebody, okay. The I there, I'm trying to watch my time as well. The I there is for influence. Love gives us influence. Bless you. Thank you so much, Miss Vanessa. Blessings to you. Love gives us influence. You have influence to be promoted, influence to be elevated, influence to be noticed. It takes a part to, to, to have influence means to be noticed. You're noticeable or you're, they, they give you notoriety. Amen. Can I say it like that? So I is for influence. So love and influence. Wow. To God be the glory. Living life who mad. To God be all the glory. Amen. Love lifts. Love lifts and influence lifts. When you get influence, you are lifted out. It takes one person to notice you, to give you the type of influence that's mind blowing. I remember the story of T.D. Jakes when uh, uh, Paul Crouch on um, greetings from greetings from Europe. You might, okay, bless you. Thank you. Oh, they gonna. See me, they gonna see you now, JDM. They gonna see you in Jesus' name. And so Paul Kraut saw a video or something of TD Jakes. Bam, he hit TBN. That was it. Lifted, lifted, influence. One person, one person saw him. One. And I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus. I'm trying to stop and go on and finish this thing up. I decree and I declare that that one person that you need to see you, to notice you, to, to pay attention to you, to that God will give you influence with. May they see you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree that in Jesus name. Divine connections. Come on here. Yeah, divine connections. Divine uh, uh, those. I told you bad connections won't release a full flow, but divine connections will call, catapult you from one place to another. It just take one person to see you, one person to notice you, one person person to to uh to to give you notoriety to mention your name to talk about you to say something about you to put you in place amen chosen it just takes one hallelujah and i decree and i declare that that one will find you promote you lift you give you notoriety in jesus name amen hallelujah just one you only need one you only need one it just takes one that one oh my god Oh my God, that one that God sends, that one. You, it takes one man to notice you and know that he wants you to be his wife. Of, of any other woman he could have looked at and chosen, one man to see you and say, I, that's my wife. I was asking one of the uh, brothers, uh, I was asking the wife, I said, what was he saying to you when you met him? Or what? Because he, he's so comical to me. And the wife said, she said, I'll let him tell you. And he said, well, I was singing uh, something on the platform. He said, I saw her at the back. And he said, and I said to her pastor, because he, I guess, was visiting the church. He said, I told her pastor, I want her. <laughs> Just one. Just one. And they're married. They've been, I don't know how long it's been, but they're married. They have, uh, I think, three or four children. So it just took one. One man saw her all the way in the back. And he said, I want her. Just one. It only takes one man to see one woman to, to say yes. And you know, it can catapult your life. Some people, God begins to bless you when you get with your spouse. Amen. You get with your husband or your wife. Certain things just open up and start to begin to flow. Because you have influence. You have influence. You have influence. Amen. And so let's move on to the F. So influence lifts. You get influence, you lift. You get lifted, you lift. Amen. Influence. The F is for favor. In fact, I'm going to add a few. Favor. The F is for favor. The F is for faith. Amen. The F is for favor. The F is for faith. And the F is for your future. I believe that future lifting is coming. You're lifted now for the future purpose of God, whatever God wants to do. You're lifted now for favor. You're lifted now by faith. Amen. Favor, faith, future. Favor will cause you to be noticed, to be lifted. Favor will cause you to be called out. Look at Esther and all of those women that he that he was uh, had a chance to try out, basically. Hello, Cheeks Candy. Welcome. It was Esther that he chose. Why? Why? There was something about her. Favor. 
And it took her a great level of faith to go to the king, even in her favor. She said, OK, if I go and if I perish, I perish, but I'm going. She went by faith and she received what she needed. She told him, come to the banquet. OK, whatever you want, up to half of this kingdom, I will give you. Now, that is some serious favor. And then he came. She said, OK. He said, what do you want? Tell me. She said, come again. I, got, I need you to come again. Two times she called him to a banquet. Oh, my God. I ain't got time to work that. Let me leave it. Whoo, Jesus, I love it. Two times she called him to the banquet. He came the next time and she said, this is what's going on. And he gave her favor to be lifted. Her future now was secure because of favor and because of faith. Did you hear what I said? Her future now was secure because of favor and faith. They were not eliminated. The people were not wiped out. Oh my God. Do you hear what I'm saying? I decree and I declare you will not be wiped out. Your future is secure because of the favor and the faith. Now it's secure in Jesus name. I prophesy that to you in the name of Jesus. And lastly is the T. Lastly is the T. So lifting love lifts, influence lifts, favor, faith, and future lifts. Amen. And then the T. The T is for testimony. Testimony lifts you. You hear a testimony, you think, my God, if you did it for them, you'll do it for me. T for testimony. Testimony lifts. It encourages you. It brings you. It makes you feel hope again. You have hope. You feel revived. You know what, God? I'm thinking now I might need to start praying that. I'm thinking I might need to do what they were doing. I might need to go the way they went. Testimony lifts. Hallelujah. Testimony will lift. You will testify too, J. Jim, in Jesus' name. Testimony lifts. Amen. You, you know, think about when you hear those testimonies and it's that same thing you're dealing with and you hear a testimony. You feel lifted. you like, oh, okay, God, I just needed to hear somebody else say what happened. And here it is. Testimony lifts. So love lifts, influence lifts, favor, faith, future lifts, and testimony lifts. All of these things are rooted in the love of God. God loves us, so he lifts us. He loves us, and we love him. He loves us, so he gives us influence. He loves us, so he gives us favor, gives us faith, gives us hope, future, and an expected end, according to Jeremiah 29 and 11. And then he gives us testimony. Because of the blood of Jesus, we overcome and we testify. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus for everyone on this scope today, even the replay viewers, that you literally will overcome and you shall testify in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Listen, that's my time. Thank you so much for yours. I love you so much for spending time with me. Thank you for the hearts, the super hearts, for all those that you invited, you shared. Thank you so very much. I pray that something that's been said on this scope today, something that's been released on this scope today has come into your spirit and your heart and your mind, and it is blessing you tremendously. Psalms 30 and 1, I will extol thee, O Lord, for you have not, you have lifted me up and you have not allowed my enemies to rejoice over me. I decree and I declare that you will testify that your enemies have not rejoiced over you in Jesus name. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. We give him all the praise and glory and honor. Yes, I have a class on February 17th at 10 o'clock. It's a webinar. Go to the website, www, thank you, uh, Grace for the Purpose, www.prophetmonica.com. You can donate there. Please go sow a seed. If you have been sold before, sow again. If you never sold this Saturday, if you have never sown, please go and sow something. It doesn't matter what it is. It's the, it's the release of it. It's the faith in it. It's the obedience in it. Amen. It's the blessing in it. It's more blessed to give than to receive, right? So in our releasing something to God, say, t come on, sow into this. Lord, I'm sowing into Psalms 31 that my enemies will not rejoice over me in the name of Jesus. Sow into that. I do stuff like that. It's a prophetic act. It's a prophetic act to God to say, I believe your word, not just the prophet only, but your word. If you believe in the prophet, you will prosper. If you believe in God, you will be established. We are established in his word and we prosper when we believe his prophet. Amen. So, and you can go on there, www. God bless you, JGM, www. Uh, ProfitMonica.com. Amen. And you can sow there and you can sign up for the class. Click events and the, it will come up. It's on February 17th, 10 o'clock in the morning 
Uh, it is a webinar, so I'm going to talk about warfare. I'm going to talk about warfare, and I'm really going to give you some revelation, some um, strategy. Amen. God gave me this. He said, revelation leads to wisdom. Wisdom leads to strategy. Strategy will defeat the enemy. And so I want to talk to you about that. I want to show you some stuff that God has given to me concerning this, and I believe it's going to be a blessing. So you can go there and sign up. If you have not, please do and sign up for that. Um, what's the other thing? In March, Pastor Tuesday, uh, I think it's March, so it's Saturday, this uh, Saturday, the 17th, uh, Pastor Tuesday is going to Israel. Um, so he says, send his, send him your prayer request so you can email him. I think it's kingofisrael14 at gmail.com. So you can email him your prayer request because he's taking them to Jerusalem, uh, uh, to Israel to pray. So I'm excited about that. I'm expecting a miracle to happen from that as well. In May, May of this year, May 2018, the 18th, the 19th, and the 20th, there is a Command Your Day 3D conference. Dreams, uh, Deliverance, Dreams, and Death. Destiny. It's going to be powerful. I'm already excited. Pastor Tuesday's never done this before. He said this is the first time, but he's going to. You plan to be there. Please, please, please come and introduce yourselves to me because I am so excited about meeting my Periscope people. I love when I meet you all, when you come. Some people have come to the church here in Atlanta and they say, oh, I'm so-and-so on Periscope and they're watching. I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love meeting you guys and uh, having an opportunity to worship together. Amen. I just, I enjoy that so much. So I am looking forward to that. You can go and register on Eventbrite for that particular um, conference. Um, it's on Eventbrite. Type in Pastor Choosy and it'll come up. You'll see his uh, profile picture there. It's the same one as on the Facebook and on the Periscope. So you'll know that that's him. And then you it'll say tickets. So you can sign up for that. So I, hey, Prophet Jason, bless you. You'll be in service. Okay. Awesome. Mono Jam, please, please, please come introduce yourself. Cut something. Connect with me because I certainly want to. I'd love me to meet you. Absolutely. So I'm looking forward to it. So you guys, I thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for supporting Pastor Choosy because he is certainly my pastor. And I know a lot of you came over, you know, because I was sharing and so forth. And I just thank God because I believe that God connects people for purpose. Amen. And I don't believe that God connected us for anything except a divine purpose. And I am expecting, I'm looking forward to, I'm decreeing, I'm declaring, I'm prophesying, I'm, I am commanding, I am demanding that the full purpose of why God connected us together will manifest in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I love you. I love you. Uh, thank you so much for all that you do again. Um, absolutely. Thank you so much for coming in, coming on. Uh, do absolutely, absolutely uh, continue to declare Psalms 30 and 1. I magnify you, extol you, O God, because you have lifted me up and not allowed my enemies to rejoice over me. God bless you. Have an awesome rest of your evening and your night. We will talk again. Bless you, Adesio. Greet your mom for me, please. God bless you. Thank you so much. Love you as well. Thank you so much. Um, remember that those announcements, you can always hit the replay. If you replay, please heart it up again. Just, you know, it, you may hit a couple of hearts, but give it some more hearts if you would. Hey, Evangelist Regina, bless you. Give it some more hearts. Share it some more. Uh, yes, Miss uh, M65, please do. Thank you so much. Okay, you're home now? Yes, lift Mono Jim in Jesus' name. I'm so excited about what God is doing. I just, I said, okay, God, what are we going to talk about? What do you want me to say to your people? I am your instrument to make the sound today that brings joy to your people. And so God has done it. I'm excited. I love him for it. I appreciate him so much for who he is. And I love that he loves me and that he lifts me. Whenever I feel low, I remember that God is the lifter of my head and he is my lifter. Amen. <laughs> she said, y'all did. <laughs> he is my lifter. Amen. So to God be the glory. I love you. Be blessed. Have an awesome, awesome rest of your uh, evening, your night, your morning. For some of you, it's already going into the next day. I love you. Thank you so much. Be blessed. Bye-bye. Evangelist Regina, greet Prophet Shea for me. And thank you for coming on Catch the Replay. All right. Love you guys.